Good afternoon, viewers. This is Lisa, Connecticut Worms and Gardens. And I have in my sink here a really big butternut squash that got a little funky in storage. So um, it had been in my freezer and I thought it out for the worms. And what I did is I cut a slit in the bottom just to let some of the excess moisture drain out because it was really wet and I didn't want all that excess moisture going in my into my worms so this is going to go in the urban worm bag they finished that 15 pound pumpkin and they've since devoured a head of lettuce so I'm going to go ahead this is a really big squash now you can see the scale right now is zeroed out I'm going to try to get this I may have to lay it sideways. Let me turn my phone so you can actually see. So this is 72 ounces, 4 pounds, 8.2 ounces. Okay, so I'm going to pause the camera. Let's just call it uh, 4 and a half pounds. 4 pounds, 8 ounces is 4 and a half pounds exactly. So... I'm estimating, uh, let me think about that on my way to my basement. I'm going to pause my camera and head on downstairs with this to the basement to add it to the bin. Okay, we're in the basement. I hope the lighting is adequate. It's going to get shaky here for a minute while I unzip the urban worm bag. I moved it down here. Um, the reason I did that recently... I moved all my worms except for the African night crawlers because I've split up many of my bins and made a whole bunch of new bins and they've been existing. Um, some have been in my dining room, some have been in my bedroom and there's so many bins now that I just can't keep them there anymore. So this is going to be... This is warm enough for most of my worms. It stays about between 65, 55 and 65 down here in the winter. And I will add a heater if it becomes necessary. So before I add this beast in here, I am going to put the flash on because from my view, it's looking very dark. Now it may be distorted too bright now. Let me see if I can actually adjust this. Okay, let's just um, take a look. Now, these worms have been in a complete dark, and it's been zipped. So, of course, they're on the side, loving the condensation. Let's see, turn you upside down. You're on a roller coaster ride right now. All right, now let's just look. Like I said, the last thing they had was a a full head of lettuce. And I know I had gone in here five days after adding it to take a video and there was nothing left so once again we find the the mango pit lots of worms on it and this is right where I had the lettuce oh yes I did add a tomato in between because they were completely out of food and I hadn't decided what I was going to give them for their next feeding and this is the area that looks way, way too bright. Let me see if I can adjust this. Bear with me. Okay. I apologize, guys. I'm, I'm saving up to get a real camera instead of my phone. But until then, please understand that I have some limiting factors and some physical problems. So, this is just a piece of, uh, a piece of paper. Here is, can you hear that? <laughs> the tomato skin is, well, that's way too bright. The tomato skin is, sounds like paper. That is how thin they make things. I mean, worms, if nothing else, are efficient. Another piece of the tomato. 
All right, so there's not a whole lot to see here as far as a worm ball or anything else because, well, there's no food. So I'm not going to just sit the butternut squash on the top like I did the pumpkin because there are euros in here and the euros aren't big fans of climbing way up high to get to their food source. So I'm going to just put it in a little bit and leave some of it sticking up. But I do want to put at least some of it in. So again, this is four and a half pounds and it is Thursday, November 18th. And let's see, I'm going to, oh, sounds like a plunger going on there. Let me, okay, so let's see, I'm going to lay it down. Sort of like that. Now there's an opening in the bottom. Let me just put my finger in it here. Because this is this is pretty tough. This is gonna be gonna be interesting. Alright, I'm just gonna very very lightly cover it, leaving just a teeny bit exposed. Okay. some more of the no this was this was an apple from my apple tree and it had not been frozen before putting it in here okay we keep coming back to that mango pit why does it seem to be a common theme amongst worm raisers this was just some paper so okay um four and a half pounds And it is Thursday. I'm going to give them a week. I'm going to say next week on Thursday, we're going to check in. And this is going to be almost gone. It is packed full of seeds. I didn't take the seeds out. So I don't expect those to go anywhere. But I believe in a week, they're going to pretty much consume most of this it is old. Some of the outer skin is really thick. And that's going to be hard to break down. So I'm not expecting like to see no signs of it. But I do believe the majority of the flesh will be gone. We'll probably see just a little bit of the outer shell. And the seeds. And that's it. I will do an update in a week. I'm not like I did with my pumpkin. I was checking in every day and near the end every two days. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave these guys undisturbed. And I will check back next Thursday, which is Thanksgiving. I may do it Wednesday night or Friday morning. Not sure, but um, it'll, it'll be one of the two if I can't do it on actual Thanksgiving itself. Because I'll have my little grandson here who's just turned four. And bringing him into this basement may not be the best thing to do. There's too much he can get into down here. So, okay, everybody, I'll be seeing you soon. And have a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend to come. Take care.